NC News. Today our special guest is Dicey Tillerman. She is going to tell us about her adventure to Chris Field. So please welcome Dicey. Hi. Hi, thanks for having me. So let's get started with your story starting from the Bridgeport bus station. So me, my sister Maybeth, and my brothers James and Sammy were waiting for the bus to Annapolis to arrive. We started this journey because our mom had left us. Was your father with you? No, he left us f seven years ago when I was six. Oh, what did you expect to like find when you got to Crisfield? We were going there to see if our grandma would take us in. Where did you go after you got to Annapolis? We walked around the city for one day, then we walked by the store, and there we met Tom and Jerry. Did these boys help you? Yeah, they offered to sail us across the river to Easton, then we said our goodbyes. That was very nice of them. Mm -hmm. We went. We then started to walk again. We drifted away from sh uh, from the shore, <laughs> and were walking past many farms. By then, we only had around seven dollars. And you were able to survive off that. I didn't expect that we would survive on that, so we got a job picking crops for Mr. Rudyard. What was Mr. Rudyard like? He was very strange. We had a feeling that he was going to hurt us. Oh my! That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, so we ran away, ending up in town. Mr. Rudyard was following us, so we started running again. And we ended up by a circus where a man named Will helped us. What a tragedy! Thank God for Will! <laughs> um, but what exactly did Will do? He let us live with the circus for a few days and then gave us a ride to Crisfield near, near our grandma's. What a guy! <laughs> And then I walked alone for seven miles to our grandma's house. This is a great story. Story. Join us tomorrow when Dicey tells us about what happens when she arrives at Crisfield. Thank you. And goodbye. Hi. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Bye. The driveway ran straight between the fields. It too was overgrown. You could barely make out the ruts where the car and wheels were fixed. The sun had risen high into the sky. Dicey turned into the driveway, walking slowly now, even reluctantly. How did your grandmother react when you got to her house? Like, what was she like? She was very surprised. I could see the anger in her eyes. She was mad that I showed up in uninvited. It seemed as if her and my mom weren't even related. Throughout the time staying with her, did she stay like this? No, eventually she warmed up and made us feel welcome. How long did you let like how long did she let you stay there? We were supposed to leave within a few days, but since we showed up we showed that we were hard workers and helped on the farm, she let us stay longer. Does this mean you're still with her right now? Yes, we are currently living with her and going to school nearby. Oh that's wonderful. I'm glad you found a home after this long trip. Yes, thank you. Thanks for joining us this past two days. Good luck in the future. Thank you for having me. Okay. Oh, why'd you pick it up? Get started with the story from the. <laughs> oh my god, you were. Lights, camera, action! Welcome to MC News. Da -da -da. Today, it's been a while. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make my makeup mess up. <sighs> it's okay, it's already screwed, it sucks. Shut up! Stupid 13 year old grandmother. If she would take us in. Well, I didn't expect that we were picking crops for Mr. Rudderberry. Rudderberry. <laughs> um, he let us live with the circus for a few days, maybe two. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> and then your story starting from the butt. <laughs> hey, right. Shut up! <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs>